All right, so picture this. Modi just landed in New York. I it. Walks into a room at, get this, MIT. And it's packed wall to wall with tech giants. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah, Google's there. NVIDIA, Adobe, like the who's who of Silicon Valley, all in one place. And you're thinking, okay, another photo op, right? But hold on, because this little meet and greet, mm. it's sending ripples through the entire tech world. And by ripples, I mean potential tsunamis, mm -hmm. especially if you're you know, interested in where technology is going, which, let's be real, is all of us at this point. Right. It's like the future is being shaped in these rooms. Exactly. So today we're diving deep into this high stakes tech summit. We're going beyond the headlines, past the PR fluff to uncover what this meeting really means for India, for the U.S., for, well, you. Sounds intriguing. Oh, it is. So just skimming this article about the meeting, a few buzzwords immediately jump out. Innovation, collaboration. India is massive, and I mean massive, tech potential. And of course, the question everyone's asking, how much investment is heading India's way? Right. Everyone wants a piece of that pie. Bingo. But it's fascinating, though, isn't it? Because this isn't happening in a vacuum. The world is changing, like, rapidly. Global power dynamics are shifting. Supply chains are being rerouted. And every country is looking for an edge in this new landscape. And that's where India comes in. Right. They've got this booming tech sector, a young and incredibly talented workforce. Suddenly, they're looking very, very appealing on the global stage. It's like everyone woke up and realized, hold on, India has been quietly leveling up this whole time. Exactly. And you know Modi knows it. The article quotes him talking about AI for all and India's commitment to ethical AI development. Which is huge if they can pull it off. It is. I mean, it's a bold statement. So is this just clever PR or is there real substance behind this ethical AI talk? Could India actually become a leader in responsible AI development? Because that changes everything. Right. That's the million dollar question. Hmm. But they are making moves. They're pushing for homegrown AI solutions, trying to reduce reliance on foreign companies, and they're starting to implement regulations around data privacy, algorithmic bias, all that. Yeah, there's that whole thing about the Digital India Act. Didn't that have some provisions about AI? Exactly. That's a big one. It emphasizes ethical considerations for how AI is developed and used. Of course, passing laws is one thing, but enforcing them, that's a whole other beast. Oh, absolutely. But still, high risk potentially huge rewards if they can make it work. Exactly. And it's not just about AI either. This article, it kept highlighting how U.S. companies see Indian startups as the key to, you know, unlocking even bigger opportunities in the market. Yeah, like a shortcut, almost. <laughs> Speaking of, the article mentioned startups being a bridge into the Indian market. What are the advantages there? for both sides. Well, think about it. U.S. companies, they get access to this massive, and I mean massive, and growing consumer base in India. Right. But navigating that market, it's tricky. Partnering with local startups, that gives them a huge advantage. They know the landscape. Exactly. And on the flip side, Indian startups, they gain valuable partnerships. They get funding, expertise, access to a global network. Win-win, like you said. Totally. It's a fast track to innovation for everyone involved. Like, yeah. look at Google and Geo platforms, for example. They teamed up, brought affordable internet to millions in India. Google gets a foothold in a booming market and millions of people get connected. That's a good example. Right. Or look at the fintech explosion happening in India. U.S. companies are scrambling, partnering with these Indian fintech startups to navigate the regulatory landscape there. And the result... We're seeing some seriously innovative financial products and services emerging. It's like a breeding ground for the future of finance, almost. But OK, before we run out of time, there's one more thing I wanted to touch on. The article ends with a quote from an MIT professor who was at the round table. They were talking about, you know, the whole using technology for global good angle, fighting climate change, improving healthcare, bridging the education gap, ambitious stuff. It is ambitious, but also think about it. If we zoom out and look at the bigger picture, what we're really talking about here is this potential for massive collaboration between the U.S. and India on a scale we haven't seen before. These two tech powerhouses, right, combining their resources, their expertise, the possibilities are, well, they're huge. Breakthroughs in renewable energy, telemedicine, online education, you name it. It's almost overwhelming if you really let yourself go there. To no, possibly. Right. But as always, the devil's in the details. Turning this grand vision into reality, that's going to require a lot. Sustained commitment, open collaboration, and probably most importantly, a shared understanding of the challenges from both sides. It's a long road. Well, on that note, folks, it's time for us to wrap up this deep docs. But before you go, think about this. India is stepping onto the world stage. 
right in the spotlight as a tech powerhouse. What opportunities does that open up for you? How could this impact your work, your investments, even your daily life in the years to come? Something to ponder. Until next time, keep those brains engaged and those questions coming.